But without achieving the divine vision that Krishna gives to Arjuna, he cannot see the universal form. And without achieving our spiritual consciousness, we also cannot see anything beyond the deity as made of mere stone. We may have theoretical knowledge that it's much more, the deity is much more than stone. But at the same time, we need to see that for ourselves. One time Prabhupada uh, asked the devotees on a morning walk, he says, uh, how do you know Krishna is God? And uh, of course the devotees very logically said, because. He says so. He says so right here in Bhagavad Gita. Prabhupada said no. That's not, not the answer. Well, because Srimad Bhagavatam describes Krishna as being the Supreme Personality. So we know Krishna is God. Prabhupada said no. That's still a wrong answer. So then they were perplexed. The devotees didn't know. Well, okay, now, what is the right answer? How do we know Krishna is God? So the point Prabhupada was making is how do you know? How are you convinced Krishna is God? And Prabhupada simply said, because of the reciprocation, because of that rasa, because of that relationship, that's how you'll know Krishna is God. Prabhupada once in, uh, in another place said that basically until you have your own you know, rasa, your own, your own reciprocation, you begin, and you can begin to see it in so many different ways. You know, just like people are, uh, have problems, they go in front of the deities, and I've seen this many times, where they go in front of the deities, maybe they just need a, you know, a re resolution for their visa, or maybe they're looking for a child, or maybe they're looking for, you know, a means to make car payments, or it doesn't matter. But they go in front of the deities, and they pray, and their problem is resolved. That's a reciprocation. And Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, even those that have materialistic desires, if they come to me, they're great souls. So, but the point of it is, until we have that, that experience, only then will we really have that conviction. And you can have it personally, or you can have it through someone like Srila Prabhupada. You can see his conviction, you can see his experience, he will relate that to you, and because you're convinced of him, you'll also become, become convinced of the process. And then you'll also become convinced that Krishna is the supreme divine lover. So, of course, on the other hand, Prabhupada, the next day on the morning walk, when he had that conversation, he once again said, so how do you know Krishna is God? And the devotees, having had the experience from the previous day, well, because of the reciprocation, Prabhupada, Prabhupada said no. <laughs> how do we know Krishna is God? Because he said so in Bhagavad Gita. <laughs> Which simply means, don't try to outthink the spiritual master. You know, don't try to think that you know what the spiritual master is going to say or, or more than the spiritual master. Let him tell you, let him reveal it to you, and uh, things will go much more smoothly. It'll make much more advancement that way. But the point was that if you know Krishna is God by witnessing or by experiencing the reciprocation that Krishna gives to others. And that's what makes you convinced. It's like if someone says to you, uh, how do you know the sun rises in the east? Well, I've seen it. I'm convinced. But until someone has seen it, he may be able to become gullible enough to believe any damn thing. No, no, the sun doesn't rise in the east. It rises in the, in the uh, north, northeast, up northeast. That's where, you come, where, that's where it rises from. But until you see it rising in the east, then you know that there's no more argument. There's no more uh, being gullible or being uh, 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 taking a chance of listening to someone else. They may say whatever, but you know the sun rises in the east. As soon as you're experienced somewhat on the spiritual level, you know that Krishna is the supreme personality of God, and the supreme lover. No one can tell you otherwise and you're convinced of that, then you, then you participate in the process of bhakti yoga with full conviction. And when you can do that, then there is no stopping you from making any further uh, lack of progress. You'll definitely make more progress with that conviction on the process of bhakti yoga than ever before. And that's what we're waiting for. That's what we need. Otherwise, you start with faith, 
But you have to proceed further than just faith alone. You have to have conviction, either from the, pro the instructions of Bhagavad Gita, from Krishna himself, or through the example and teachings of Srila Prabhupada, or combined with that, you begin to have your own experiences with the deity. And I wrote one book, Krishna, Krishna Deities and Their Miracles, How the Krishna Interacts with Their Devotees. And it's a, just a book based on so many stories of how Krishna interacted with his devotees. From years ago, maybe a couple hundred years ago, or even modern stories from the devotees that are in ISKCON today. So anybody can get that book, it's on Amazon.com, and uh, you can begin to understand how Krishna interacts with his devotees on so many different levels, in so many different ways. And that's another way of becoming more convinced of the potency and the interrelationship you can have with Krishna.